Yo, what's up out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a brand new solo money glitch. 100% solo, you do not need a friend. Uh, you can use a friend that will help you and it'll actually make the process a lot quicker, but we'll get into all of that, all right? For now, just know it's 100% solo and mega easy, okay? It is super easy, you don't even realize, all right? <laughs> so, a uh, big shout out to the founder, Brun Tango. I'll leave his link down in the description, go check him out. Now, what you need for this. So, as you can see, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually putting a bunch of Pegasus vehicles in my hangar. So, you do need a hangar to do this glitch, okay? But there's no, t there's no like, you know, crazy timing. There's no recent activities, nothing like that. This works on Xbox One and PS4, okay? Probably not PC because it's a merge glitch. But uh, yeah, so what I recommend doing, fill up your hangar with a bunch of buzzards, okay? Just fill it up. We're going to be duping over buzzards, believe it or not. So just fill up your hangar with a bunch of buzzards or whatever Pegasus vehicle you really have that you can fit on the floor. You know, like a bunch of them, all right? Like Hydras, anything like that. Now, you do need an MOC. That's where we're going to save the vehicle. It has to have the personal vehicle storage, and you need it to be empty, okay? So you want the MOC to be empty with the personal vehicle storage. You also need empty spaces in a separate garage, okay? That's where we're going to store the dupes. You don't need custom plates whatsoever, and obviously you need a Benny's vehicle to dupe, all right? The LG Retro Custom sells for the most. So right now, what just happened here is I'm going to go ahead and fly this last buzzer, and as you can see, it's full. I filled my hangar up to the brim, all right? I'm not sure if you need to do this. I don't really think you do. But just in case, I did it. So I filled my hangar up with as many buzzers as I could. I believe it's around 20. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, you also need the hangar mod shop. So if you don't have the mod shop in the hangar, you definitely need it, okay? So as you can see right here, I have my entire floor filled up with buzzards, okay? So this is how you want it. If you plan on making a lot of dupes with this glitch, which I'm sure most of you do, it is solo and you can just grind this out. Uh, this is what you want. You want to have as many vehicles in here because you're going to be duping over them, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and actually start getting into this. Now I'm going to go over to my empty, uh, well, my garage that has a bunch of empty spaces. And this is my LG Retro Custom that I'm duping. Like I said, you don't need custom plates, but I'm going to have a custom plate on here just to show you that the plate actually does merge and it changes. Okay, so in this empty garage right here, I actually end up moving it uh, somewhere closer to the bunker later on. But uh, yeah, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what you can do if you, have a f if you have a friend in another targeting mode somewhere, okay? He doesn't even have to know that you're using him. So right now I am in free aim. Most people play in assisted aim, okay? So what I can do is go ahead and open up my pause menu, hover over one of those jobs and press uh, square on it, or that would be X on PlayStation to actually start up that job, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and host this job. And all I need to do, since I'm in free aim and my friend is in assisted aim, I'm just going to go up to the party and I'm actually going to go ahead and join my friend's session while I'm on the lobby screen for the job. I'm going to accept the first alert, decline the second alert, which is the targeting mode. You're going to get that network error joining this job message in the top left. And then you're going to spawn wherever that blue circle was, okay? Or that job circle was. That's how you teleport around the map. There's a lot of flying in this glitch and teleporting will definitely help. So if you can use a friend, you know, maybe even link up in the comments, tell people like, hey, I'm going to be in assisted or I'm going to be in, you know, free aim and you guys can join off of each other. OK, and you guys can do the glitch separately. All right. You just need to know who's in what targeting mode. So call up the car that you want to do. I just call them my LG Retro Custom because when you do do, you know, the teleport with the job, it doesn't bring the car over with you. OK, when you do it that way, if you do the kick method, it does. But uh, yeah, so go ahead and just call up your car that you're going to duplicate, which is the LG Retro Custom, and drive it into the bunker. Now, once we're in the bunker, the MOC is in there, it's completely empty, and this car is in this spot. Just go ahead and leave the car in this spot. It's very similar to the BMX uh, dupe glitch that we were doing, but there's just literally no timing or no weird things that go on with this. It's a very straightforward and very simple glitch. So at this point, I'm outside on foot. This is what you do if you don't have a friend to join off of. So I'm showing you the fully solo method. Uh, you got to go ahead and call up a CEO buzzard. Do not call up any personal vehicles because if you call up an oppressor, the retro inside the bunker is going to disappear. So you want to call up a Pegasus vehicle, okay, or a CEO buzzard like you see right here. So I use my CEO buzzard and I flew all the way back to the hangar. 
So this is what you would have to do if you don't have a friend in another target mode. Just clarifying that, okay? So that was, I think, 17 seconds fast forwarded that flight. But that flight's like a minute, minute and a half flight, or at least it feels that way. So go ahead and walk into your hangar on foot. Make sure you still haven't requested any personal vehicles. You want to go ahead and hop into one of these buzzards that we put in here. And then you want to just press right D-pad. That's going to take us to the mod shop. Don't modify anything. Just back out of this menu right here and then hit exit the aircraft. You're going to be outside of the aircraft on foot. So now that we're right here, once again, for people that do not have a friend in another targeting mode, you got to go outside and get back into your buzzard, okay? Or whatever vehicle that's not personal that, uh, you know, you're taking back over there. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the buzzard and I'm going to fly back over to the bunker, okay? So if you do have the friend in another targeting mode, remember, you can skip all of this and you can just use that different aim mode uh, job trick and you can teleport over there. So right now I'm just flying back over. Uh, to do the fully solo method, I'm flying back over to the bunker. Now that I'm here, I'm just going to simply run into the bunker, okay? Just run into the bunker. Believe it or not, that little right D-pad trick that we just did over at the hangar, that is actually the only, like, glitchy thing that you need. It's not even glitchy. You're just literally going to the mod shop. That's it, okay? There's not really anything getting glitched out. So what it seems like to me is just a spot. So now, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and go into first person and show you. I have a roll easy plate on here so you see that that is a roll easy plate it's custom you don't need that though i'm just putting it on there because i want to show you that that plate will change now i'm going to get a completely new generic plate once i get in the car so check it out boom just like that completely new generic this car is fresh clean not saved yet though you want to go ahead and drive it to your moc and this is where we're saving it so press right d-pad and go in there if it's not empty the moc needs to be empty okay so you see i drove it into an empty spot that's how it needs to be saved if there's a vehicle in there you're going to get a weird alert that says you can't transfer a vehicle into the clubhouse and the, you know it's going to ruin it so you need to make sure you have the moc empty that's how you save the car so all i did now was i went ahead and i drove out of the moc with my brand new dupe that's 100 percent saved and this is where the empty spots come into play. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I ended up changing garages, okay? I had a garage close to the hangar, but I realized you actually want something closer to your bunker, okay? So now I'm just driving over to my garage over here that has the car that I duped and a bunch of empty spots. So this is, this is a six car garage, but it'll do for the video, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and drive in, and once I'm in there, there we go. I'm in the dupe, and that's the original car that I actually used to, uh, to duplicate this one, okay? So that's how you make a dupe. Now, to rinse and repeat, it, I, like I said, guys, mad easy. <laughs> this couldn't be any simpler. It is straightforward, very, very easy. So now I'm going to do this as if I have a friend in another target mode, which I do. So I'm going to drive out with the car that I want to dupe. I'm going to go ahead and pick this spot right here, and that's where I'm actually going to go ahead and teleport, okay? So I thought about it here real quick. Should I drive? Should I teleport? I was like, screw it. Let me just go ahead and teleport. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over this job circle that's right next to the bunker. I'm going to hit square, and that would be X on Xbox to actually begin the job. I'm going to go ahead and host this. And once the lobby has loaded up and you can actually see all the options, that's when you want to go ahead and join your friend in another targeting mode. So I'm going to go ahead and join my friend in another targeting mode. And I should get an alert, accept the first one, decline the second one. And then we should spawn right there at the blue circle. OK, so there we go. Nice and easy. But like I said, it doesn't bring the vehicle with you. So I have to go to the vehicle section and actually request the uh, personal vehicle right here. But once I do have it, I'm just going to simply take this and go ahead and drive it into the bunker. OK, and remember, you want to just leave it in that spot. Very, very simple. Just leave it in this spot. And once you have this in this spot and you go outside, don't request any personal vehicles, nothing like that. But once again, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and teleport. All right. Very simple to use this teleport glitch. OK, OK, like it's mad simple. So go ahead and start up one of those jobs. That's the closest little job circle I can find to the hangar. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. And um, like I said, once you go into the lobby screen, go ahead and join your friend in a different aim mode and you're going to get an alert, accept the first one and decline the second one. So here we go, accept the first, decline the second. We get glitched out, we're at the job circle and go ahead and run over to your hangar. And uh, coincidentally, that's also a little glitch to have radio while you're on foot in case you didn't know that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go into the hangar on foot. I'm going to hop into one of these buzzards. And remember, these are the buzzards we're overriding. So I actually lost the buzzard already. That is OK. We overrode it. So I'm going to press right D-pad to actually enter the mod shop. And then I'm going to go ahead and back out of the menu and hit exit the aircraft. 
you can actually teleport from in here. You don't even need to go outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a job circle over there by the uh, bunker and we're just gonna do the same thing. So as you can see, this second time around, it's much, much quicker without the buzzard, okay? When you're just using the jobs to teleport back and forth, you can do this glitch very, very quickly, okay? If it weren't for the cooldown time with the car, then it would be even quicker. But you guys know what I'm doing here. Remember when the lobby loads up, join a friend in a different targeting mode, except the first, decline the second, okay? We're over here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run into the bunker on foot. Once we're in here, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the car and you'll see the plate change. So check it out. There's a roll easy plate on it and there it goes. All right, change just like that. Merge glitch, these are fresh dupes. You can sell these, okay? You can sell these perfectly fine. So go ahead and write D-pad into your empty MOC. Remember, must be empty. So go into your empty MOC and then that dupe is saved. All you need to do is go ahead and empty out your MOC again. So you move this car over to uh, the the garage could be your facility could be anywhere it just has to have an empty spot so that you can store this in there So that nothing goes into your MOC you remember you want to keep your MOC empty for each dupe so that you can save it in there All right, you cannot transfer vehicles uh, Yeah, so right now that's what I'm doing and that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video It's a very simple glitch. Please take advantage of it now. It's the middle of the week So we don't know how long this one's gonna last but uh, yeah, so my name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.